Let's now discuss this issue further with Nick Harper. He's joining us live in New York. Um, Nick, the International Criminal Court is now pushed to Hurikanyata's trial to February next year. Is there any update on the scheduled UN Security Council discussion of AU's application to have the ICC cases on Kenya deferred? Well, no official word yet coming out of the UN Security Council. What we do know is that they were billing this as an informal, interactive dialogue. So not officially a meeting, but an opportunity uh, for the leaders to sit down with the UN Security Council to talk through some of the issues. Uh, Ethiopia was taking the lead on this, even though it was uh, Kenya's topic to bring up. Uh, and there was another five African nations involved, uh, Ethiopia, Burundi, Mauritania, Uganda and Senegal and Namibia. They were all sitting down with the UN Security Council. Now the Security Council does have the ability to defer ICC trials for up to one year. However, the whole of the Security Council would have to unanimously vote on that. So those discussions have been going on this morning. No official word on how they've gone. That's something that we're expecting uh, in the coming hours. But Nick, what are the likely implications of the postponement of the trial of the Kenyan president with regards to the UN Security Council deliberations on AU's request? Well, yes, it is a big question as to whether or not the United Nations will want to take up this issue now that the ICC has decided to defer. We know that Kenya has been pushing for a whole uh, year's deferral. They say that President Kenyatta needs that time to deal with issues in Kenya as a result of the Al-Shabaab terrorist attack on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi. Uh, they say that he needs to spend time on those security issues and therefore needs a whole year's deferral. So it's unclear at this stage whether the Kenyan government will be happy with just a few months deferral, knocking it back until February. Now, you could say that the United Nations, as a result of the ICC decision, may be more interested to take it up, to also support the case and to try and uh, defer the trial for longer. But you could also say that they won't now touch it. The job is effectively done. The ICC has deferred the trial. So why would the United Nations want to take up the issue and try and push it back themselves? That's something that they'll need to decide, uh, along with the African Union, who's been championing this case. Uh, the Security Council, all 15 members, though, would have to unanimously vote on any deferral. So uh, if they decide to take it up, it's still something of a long road before there's any final decision on it coming out of the United Nations. All right, Nick Harper, live for us in New York. Thanks very much for this insight.